Okay, going to dive right in. Uh, today's topic, Messenger. How do we set up Messenger so that we can use Messenger for all of our ads, especially when we're, or all of our posts, period? Now, everybody knows that you can do Messenger lead gen where you set up a specific chat sequence and you do a dark post or an ad and we do these for people all the time and then they come in and, and click on learn more and they can go to specific things or whatever. But what about all your posts? You're posting all the time and you wanna be able to turn all your posts into lead gen to some degree. Well, uh, that's what we're gonna cover today. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. I'm on my page and when you go to your page, you have a button on your page and you can uh, uh, edit this button and make it be whatever you want. Uh, uh, start an order, view a gift card, contact us. I want them to email me, uh, uh, send an email, learn more, whatever you want your button to be. Well, if you make your button send message, then people can message you from your page. But whether your button is send message here or learn more, or send email, whatever you want, you can put a messenger button in all of your posts. As long as you are on your business page and you are acting as your business, not as yourself. When you're posting individually, well, now your posts don't have the option for a messenger button. But whenever you're posting as your page, I can put up a post that includes a messenger button. So now, <clears throat> When I put up my post, I've got my little send message button down there. So if I put up a post that says, uh, if you wanna know more about how to do this or to check your eligibility for this program or to learn more, whatever, I can put that right in uh, uh, my post. I just say, click down below and shoot me a message and they'll shoot you a message. If we're doing automated rules, <clears throat> a la via ad traffic, we do, these primarily, now mind you, if you post anytime and you've got automatic traffic going out, you can always add the send message button. But if you want to get a little aggressive with some of them, yeah, this is a, a post, I wanna get a bunch of leads. Well, that's when we set up a specialty rule that training's coming up, but a, a, a click rule that optimizes for clicks. When I want people to not just see my stuff, I want them to click on it I optimize for clicks. I can also optimize for engagement because technically a click is an engagement, but so is a video view, comment, like, share, whatever. So I can optimize for either engagement or I can optimize for uh, uh, clicks and I will get people to click on this send message button. So now I'm putting up a post. It's got a send message button in it but it's not going to have a customized chat sequence. Like when we do a messenger ad, we'll put in a chat sequence that says, hi, Bob, how's it going today? Uh, uh, <clears throat> and then I can have clickable replies or whatever, but you have a default message for your page. So when you're on your page, if you come over here to messenger tools, you can see that I can create a messenger post if I wanna do the custom thing or I can set up conversation starters. So let's just go ahead and say set up now. <clears throat> so I go to messenger tools, click on conversation starters, set up now. And then Facebook gives me this. I can have an instant reply. Hi, thanks for con contacting us. How can we be of service? If I wanted that to be my automated response. So anytime somebody clicks my messenger button, whether it's in my ad or on my page, you can even embed it on your website. You can put it anywhere so that you have chat built into your website. Well, anytime they click on uh, uh, that send message button, it's gonna pop up and give them this automated reply. You just turn on your instant reply. Where do I want it? I want it in Messenger and in Instagram. Or you can come down here to frequently ask questions, which work a lot like custom uh, uh, chat sequences in ads, because now I can turn that on for Messenger and Instagram. I can turn on my FAQs and I can come down here and I can create questions 
and have automatic answers. I have some general questions. We're happy to try and answer those for you, blah, 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 blah. Or you can go here. And so I can have my reply for my questions. I can even add a button to my question. So on this one, I did. I added a button that said noonzoom.us. You know what? I'm going to change that because I added a new one since we're doing so many of these trainings not at uh, noon. Add traffic you because we've got the whole ad traffic university getting rolled out. So I'm going to just say that's my button. Or no, I'm going to say add traffic. Uh, let's admit someone. There we go. So I'm going to say add traffic. Come on, don't fight me. Add traffic. There we go. University. That's what I want my button to say. Where do I want it to go? Noonzoom.us or add traffic you, same place right now, traffic you.com. Now I've got a button in my reply they can click on. So you could have a button that says apply now that goes to your quick app or, or see listings or uh, check out my website, whatever you want. If you want to put a button, you don't have to. Then I can come down here to my next question and say, how do I get access to your free trainings and resources? Just go to blah, 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 blah. And I put my answer in there. So uh, I don't know that these will be my questions and answers, but I went ahead and threw these in here in preparation for this training so that you can see I can have multiple questions. Now, when they message you, they can see the questions, your FAQs, and you can have up to four of them and they can click on ask. So as soon as I'm all done with this, I'm going to say save changes. And I've now set up FAQs as my messenger response. Now, think about this. You can't, you can't say, show me that listing because this is for anybody. It's, these are not like a messenger sequence. When I'm in a regular messenger sequence, and I'm just gonna go peek at somebody's ad here and look at their messenger sequence, these sequences, greeting, clickable replies, and auto responses, these are custom to the ad. So when we're putting up ads for people, we'll put in links, we'll have custom things. Yeah, tell me more about the community or uh, I'm interested to check my eligibility uh, for a bank. I'd like to see how a bank statement loan uh, uh, could work better for me than one based on my taxable income or whatever. I can put whatever responses or, or clickable replies. And again, they can always type. You don't have to have these clickable replies. Somebody asked me that earlier today. I can just have the greeting and do everything manually. I can have the greeting and then give them a few things they can click on or they can type a reply. It doesn't matter. And then if I want, I can add an automated response to take it one step further, but I don't have to do any of those things. That's in an ad because it's specific to the ad. It has the, in this one, it has the three links to the three listings in that story. But when you're setting this up for your page and you say, I want to set up my conversation starters, well, it's going to come in here and say, what do you want to do? You can use an instant reply and have just an instant reply, or you can come down and you can uh, go to frequently asked questions and give them FAQs they can type on if there's several things you want them to be able to ask and you have those FAQs there and either one of those will work. And the idea, and really you don't have to do the FAQs. The idea behind this can truly be just as simple as uh, putting up a greeting that says, hi name, uh, uh, what's up? How can I help you? Or hi name, what's up? Question mark, boom, done. You get them to click on that or they see that and, and now, and that would be an instant reply. So great, if I wanted to do that, I would just change, hi, thanks for contacting us. How can we be a service? And I don't like to be quite so formal. Personally, I like to stay more casual and colloquial. So beautiful. I'm just gonna come in here and write my one greeting uh, and whatever it is I wanna say. I can personal, if I wanna put in their name, uh, yeah, I'm going to come down here and say personalize. I'm going to say first name of recipient, add, hi, user first name, 
uh whoops i put it in the middle of high uh delete <laughs> delete yeah let's go back uh delete there we go high space now i'm gonna put in first name of recipient <clears throat> hi thanks for con contacting us how can we be of service to you hey blah 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 and i can just say what's up it doesn't matter anytime they click on the messenger button it's going to pop up and give them this so i would just turn on my instant reply now, just to recap, whenever you're putting up a post and you're all the way back, and let's just go to my page, and now I'm ready to put up a post in my page because it's going to get automatically promoted. Well, I'm just going to come in here and again, and by the way, sometimes you got to refresh and trick Facebook into giving you what you want. And there we go. Now I've got get messages, by the way. We're talking about Messenger today, but know that you can also, when you're creating a post, optimize it for phone calls. And if I say I want phone calls, well, yep, that's the number I want them to call. And now I put up my post and it's going to have a call now button that'll actually dial their phone. If you're doing stuff and you want it to come in via <clears throat> WhatsApp, uh, uh, super effective in some markets, probably none of yours. Uh, but I can do that. So I can get messages. I can get calls. I can get whatever I want from my posts. So if I want to get messages, all I'm going to do is say, I'm going to put up a post. I'm going to invite them to get something, learn something, talk to me, schedule a time, whatever I want. And now I've got the send message built button built right in. When they click that send message, it's going to go off to whatever I have set up for my automation. FAQs, instant replies, I've got all that stuff in here ready to go. I recommend you just go with a simple instant reply. In your instant reply, you could add links. Uh, uh, if you'd like to schedule a time, click on Kalani. If not, da, 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 how can I help you? Uh, um, uh, and you'll get the message. Make sure that you've got the business suite app on your phone because that's where the messages come in on your phone. So that, and make sure you've got your notifications turned on. And there we go. But this little icon right in the middle of the screen, the circle and triangle, that app business suite you want on your phone. And if you're running ads, you'll also want the Facebook ads app that's right next to it with the little triangle pointing up and the blue circle. Those are the two apps right there that you want to use <clears throat> on your phone. On the Business Suite app, it's just going to, let me open it with my two-factor authentication, which is a lot easier on your phone because it auto inputs. And there we go. Now it's going to come in and you're going to have business suite on your phone and business suite on your phone down at the bottom. Sorry, this is not exactly ideal, but there we go right there. Arr, click. And I go to inbox and now I have my inbox and I can see all of my messages and I can deal with them when you're in your phone and you go to notifications, make sure that you've got <clears throat> your notifications turned on. So, you know, when you get messages, but now with messenger on your phone or business suite on your phone and with uh let me just go back to screen sharing with your frequently asked questions or your away message turned on uh, not your away excuse me your instant reply turned on whichever one of those you want that's what's going to pop up anytime somebody hits your message button either on your page in your post or wherever else you've put that. Because remember, when you're doing this, I want to set up conversation starters. Uh, uh, you can get the button for Messenger and actually embed it anywhere you want. Uh, for those of you that are using just traffic, you're either just boosting or you're using ad traffic, it's the easiest way to do lead gen because now I'm always thinking whenever I'm putting up a post, what can I offer them? something that I can send them a link to, another video I can send them to, questions I can answer, but 
all your posts should include some sort, not all, but a lot of your posts should include some sort of call to action. The send message button is a great call to action. It works really well. I personally like to create a signature, just like I have a signature for my email. I want a signature that I cut and paste at the end of every post so that anytime I'm putting up a post, great, I'm gonna say get messages, I'm gonna add my photo or videos, I'm gonna write my post, and at the end, I'm gonna cut and paste my signature. And my signature is my call to action. Uh, um, uh, if I can ever be of assistance in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out, phone number, email, or uh, 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 shoot me a message. And if I'm always going to use the send message button, I could say click down below, but make sure that every post has a reminder that you're there for them and a reminder that you want to do business with them. If you don't want to do that in every post, then you can do it just in the ones you actually add the send message button to. <clears throat> just make sure when they are going to click on that, that it is indeed going to, uh, uh, and by the way, when you're setting up your button, you can change the button do whatever you want. Uh, uh, and then once I've got my get messages button set up or send message, then I can test it and see how it's going to come through. And look, there's my button. Uh, it hasn't updated with my new save stuff that we just changed, but uh, that's it in a nutshell. Questions on using Messenger or setting up Messenger. Give you guys a second if not i'll roll into working messenger leads it's kind of a separate training but we got a little time how, how do i how do i get people to engage on messenger what are the best practices for a mess messenger etc cetera, etc cetera?